hello guys um congratulations if you just purchased a mavic air 2 or um anyone who is just interested in the mavic air 2 or the mavic lines of drones well welcome to this uh, post so as you can imagine most people uh, their first thought when they get their drone is to fire it up get their controller and then go flying that is the fun part and then of course you have the cameras on today's drones that take this amazing footage and photographs so uh, this video is simply going to be talking about the batteries that you have in your mavic air 2 from dji um, you have two batteries the one that goes on the on the drone itself which is an intelligent battery and then you also have a battery in the controller which you cannot actually take out it's built into the controller so the intelligent flight battery uh, would come with your drone and it's going to be in hibernation mode uh, what that means is you press the button on the on the battery it will not come on and that hibernation mode allows the battery to be stored over a long period of time without causing any damage uh, these lithium ion batteries especially for the mavic air and i also believe for the mavic mini have been known to swell over a period of time uh, if they are left in storage while fully charged so uh, there's been some improvements and the batteries that come with the Mavic Air 2 have uh, these improvements incorporated into them uh, the first one I will talk about is that uh, for example if you have the battery and it um, it's fully charged it discharges itself to 96% if it's left idle for more than 24 hours so it doesn't stay fully charged it slowly discharges itself to 96% uh, after 24 hours and then if you also leave the battery idle for five days it's going to discharge itself further and uh, up to 60% so here you have your drone this is how it presents itself out uh, out of the box you have those fancy stickers which you can take off and right on top of the drone you have the battery and it comes like i said in hibernation mode you will have to use the the charger to do an initial charge before you can actually turn it on or even use uh, the drone I also have to say a word about the location of the battery uh, older dji drones like the spark were known to have the batteries fall out of the drone during certain flight maneuvers and that would lead to the drone crashing so here you can see the battery is actually on top of the drone which is a, a very safe location i believe at uh, the bottom of the battery, uh, bottom of your screen, that's where you are going to hook up the battery to the smart charger. And you have those two tabs on the left and right of the battery where you press and you can take out the battery. Um, here you press the on button for about a second and you will have an indication of how much charge you have on your smart controller. Those buttons, uh, the LEDs, on the front very difficult to see in this shot they will indicate if uh, it's charged or not or what degree of charge you have in the battery and here you have your smart charger it has one input it would take from a hundred to 240 volts AC and then the output uh, is dual one goes straight to the battery and it's uh, a 13.2 volt 2.82 amp charger and then the usb output is 5 volts at 2 amps the nominal power output of that charger is 38 watts 
so you have your USB-C connection there which is what you're gonna use to charge the your controller take out the cable and for the initial charge it will take about one hour 35 minutes to charge the intelligent flight battery and for the controller it will take about four hours for the initial charge so right now i'm just going to show you the configuration you can plug and have both charging at the same time there i'm plugging in the usb and on the other side you have the battery charger and let's say you go flying and you have less than five uh, percent of your battery life left you come back and you store your battery after six hours it's going to go into hibernation mode so less than five percent battery and you store the battery in that state for more than six hours it will go into hibernation mode and you will have to plug it with uh, the smart charger to wake up the battery so that's what it looks like when you have both of them plugged in and then you just use your smart charger plug it into a, a wall outlet and this is what everything looks like when it's charging it is recommended that you fully charge your battery every three months if you are you have it in long-term storage just to maintain the battery health and uh, that's what i had for you guys tonight i uh, just wanted to share with you so take care of your batteries and uh, safe flying thanks for watching and subscribe